Hello and welcome back each and every single one of you lovely smiling faces. What we're going to take a look at today is something that cropped up on my newsfeed and I was quite interested about it so I thought I'd make a video on it. And what are we going to be talking about today ladies and gentlemen? It's the following. Funko cancelled Gina Carano Pop but not Johnny Depp toys. And this got me thinking because I was like right okay you know we all know why these companies are still using Johnny Depp's image. It brings in a shit ton of money. We all know this. But when those companies, the ones who are making the money off his likeness, are also the ones who got rid of him. So that just goes to show how much of a hypocrisy these people are doing. So in the article, it does go on to state, it was reported that Funko had cancelled the Cara Dune pop vinyl toy, but it would seem that Disney isn't mandating that all problematic celebrities be cancelled from their merchandise. According to pre-order listings on Entertainment Earth, Funko and Diamond Select apparently still manufacture toys of Captain Jack Sparrow, Gellert Grindelwald and the Mad Hatter, just three of Depp's iconic roles. And in the case of Grindelwald, Depp had been fired from the role by Warner Brothers and replaced by Mads after losing its high-profile defamation case, which we all saw. It came three to four days after the actual ruling was put down by Judge Nicole and Warner Brothers basically just went, you either leave or we sack you. And it's like, right, okay, to be honest with you, we knew that was going to happen, that something like that was going to continue on. And it has. We've seen it with a number of things. We've seen it with the media. They're all out there attacking Johnny Depp. Perfect example, this weekend gone. The Sunday Times put out that disastrous, what they call journalistic integrity as well, that article by Poppy Wood, which was absolutely abysmal. Just the way she was going about calling Depp heads, they're all these people, they're that people, they're just basically dangerous. That's exactly what she called them. But... With that article, the one thing that struck me as well, and I was a bit like, right, okay, they haven't called her it because they're afraid that they may get sued. Who am I talking about? Caroline Hicks. Again, we don't know if that's her real name or not. They just said it was. But she's the TV producer from Wales. And with that, you know, she's an absolute neo. She's there for Johnny Depp. She's supporting him. But... Poppy Wood and the Sunday Times did not call her a Depp head because they knew for a fact if they did, Caroline Hicks would just take him to court because he'd be like, well, why are you calling me dangerous? Why are you calling me nuts? You know, I talk to you about certain things. And, you know, when she was going on about certain tweets that have been sent to AH fans and all this kind of thing, I have seen at most maybe six, maybe even seven tweets since I actually put that video out regarding it as well, people have sent me the messages where these uh, tweets have been seen, and I'm like, right, okay, that's wrong. It should not be done. But all you need to do is look at all these tweets sent by AH fans, the ones where they're literally saying, I would do anything for her. I would get sent to jail. I would do this. I would do that for her. It's like, oh my God, you people are absolutely crazy. That's why they didn't uh, call Caroline Hicks a Depp head, because she knew for a fact if she called her that, she would have a lawsuit on her. But as you can see by here, guys, you know, going back to the article, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men, Tell No Tales, Jack Sparrow, Pop Vinyl Figure. It doesn't even release until June of this year. We still got two, maybe three months until this one appears on the shelf. And with that, this is coming six years after the last film was released. They know Johnny Depp, Jack Sparrow, they know it sells millions and millions of dollars in merchandise. That's why they're keeping his image there. But, for Pirates of the Caribbean, it does give me a little bit of hope, a little shimmer of hope, that basically they're like, right, we can still use his likeness, because we haven't actually said we fired him. They just said, we're going in a different direction. And that's what they said, but we all know for a fact if a Pirates film comes out and it doesn't have Johnny Depp in, it's going to sink faster than the Titanic. But then you have this one by here, which is for Warner Brothers. Fantastic Beasts 2, Mystery Minis Random 4-Pack. It's got Gellert Grindelwald, and you can tell that is Johnny Depp's version. Straight away, it's like, yeah, we fired you and we got rid of you because uh, the courts deemed you this, but we're still going to sell all merchandise to your face on. 
You know, it's like, right, okay, hypocrites. Then you got this Disney one, Disney series 1D forms, the random blind minifigure. You have the Mad Hatter, and you have Jack Sparrow. But in the article, it does continue. As such, it would seem likely that the decision to suddenly cancel all Cara Dune merchandise is being mandated by Lucasfilm and not the Walt Disney Company as a whole. Sadly, with that, the Walt Disney Company has final say on all merchandising rights. If they want to cancel something, they have to go up and tell them they're getting rid of it. Why? Because of money. This is what Walt Disney have bought up Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm. This is why they did it. Because with Pixar alone, I believe Pixar bring in something like 20 to 30 odd billion dollars a year in merchandise alone. That's just crazy amounts of money. Then you look at Marvel, most likely, you know, between 5 and 15 billion dollars a year in merchandise. Lucasfilm, well, Lucasfilm has just kind of gone downhill. They need all the merchandise they can get. This is why it's uh, kind of surprising that they got rid of the Gina Carano Cara Dune figures. Because, well, with that, when news got out that she was fired, these things were bought like anything. But again, no, we know who runs Lucasfilm. Some absolute twonk of a woman. But it does go on. In fact, Disney has no problem selling other merchandise with Johnny Depp's likeness, despite the media portraying him as this. Wouldn't being this be worse than tweeting about right-wing politics? Apparently not to Lucasfilm. This is what I got the issue with as well, because the way Disney, Warner Brothers, they go about with the media, they always basically fall and crumble to the media. But they haven't with the Johnny Depp one. Why? Because they know he brings in money. If they want to bring in more money, get him back in the films. Again, they're not going to do that because they're like, oh no, we can't do that. We need to fire him to make it look like that we're doing great. But you're still selling his likeness on all your stuff. That just goes to show how much of a hypocrite you really are. You got Diamond Select who have recently released a brand new figure of Captain Jack, so it does appear that Disney isn't so quick to call up licensees to cancel certain celebrities if there's money to be made. And that is just absolutely disgusting when you think about it as well, because you know, even though you have got all these like new figures coming out, again, it's like, come on, what you're doing is wrong. If you want to keep making money, bring him back. Because you bring him back, you're going to make a shit more money. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.